what is up everyone welcome to a mail day video which i have not done in quite a while but i thought this one might be pretty interesting recently i picked up a few things from tales of adventure on their twitter page uh, if you're not familiar with tales of adventure they are a reputable online dealer they do a lot of sales at gps or magic fest or whatever they're called now and also just do some really fun stuff on their twitter including selling oddities uh grab bags and do occasionally uh stuff like this where you buy a blind assortment of cards and you kind of see what you get now i also picked up a few other things because they were doing a whole week long of sales of uh, signed cards and stuff like that so um, there are a few things in here that i know are in here and we'll talk about those too, but this is mostly about checking out what's in that signed lot. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what I got. So when this was posted, they did kind of like a spread out of the cards, so I could tell what a few things were. They are all white cards. They did a lot for each color. And unfortunately, I didn't take one of the, uh, the model black. People who regularly play with me or have seen a lot of my decks on the channel know that black is probably my favorite color in pre-modern and old school uh, i like to say if i can't be dark ritualing into a hippie turn one what am i doing in magic <laughs> but white is i think my second favorite color in both of those formats as well uh so when i saw this lot and saw a few pieces that i wanted to pick up I figured I'd just go for it. One thing I do appreciate is the level of packaging they go through because there aren't quite a few cards in here and some of them are worth some money. Hey, <laughs> that's cool. I wonder what that's going to be. So I believe this is all in the lot and you can already tell um, a signed source to plowshares is pretty sweet let's see what's in here first whoa that is cool i was not expecting this that is sweet signed savannah lions <laughs> oh that's sweet yeah look at that we have to find a frame for that and a nahiri too signed as well i'm guessing this was part of the lot so that is very cool to see all right, already off to an amazing start. <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna start off with the pieces that I know are already in here, which looks like it's all these. So this is part of the slot, I'm assuming. A quick jump cut here because I wanted to take them out of the sleeve so you could see them and there wasn't a lot of glare. Also, the prices were listed and you guys don't necessarily need to know what I paid for everything. <laughs> but I can assure you, they were all worth it. So first off is Necromancy. I'm actually building a uh, Mirage Block deck. I want to build it in all Japanese, but it's really hard to find some cards, especially Necromancy. It's a blue-black Ramir list. I'll maybe show it on the channel at some point. Maybe we'll do a Mirage Block constructed uh, face-off or something. But really happy to get these. These were all marked heavy play, and I would say they're mild play at best. I mean, this one has a little bit of quarter damage. Uh, still really cool to have, and these will definitely find a place in a lot of different decks. In addition, they did have one signed copy of Necromancy, which is super sweet, so very excited to have this as well. Necrovolver is a card I recently discovered. Never really played with it as a kid. Never saw it either. And that's one of the things I love about Premodern, is just discovering all these niche cards this one looks not super powerful but i still want to try and build an abzan mid-range deck around it i think this one plus kyrian uh dryad could be really cool um yeah more to come on that later maybe i'll even do a little video on it but very cool to get this signed next up is tasabo's decree which is going in my black control deck fantastic card against creature heavy decks like elves or goblins Next up is Thoughtseize, which unfortunately is not legal in pre-modern or old school. Uh, I'm sure some people absolutely love that. I would love to be able to play with this, but this is actually a pickup for Modern and Pioneer. I picked up three signed copies in gold um, probably about six months ago, and I've been looking for a fourth to complete the playset ever since. And for whatever reason, <laughs> it's really hard to find a gold signed copy 
of this version of Thoughtseize. So very happy to finally have a complete set. Next up is just a classic pre-modern staple. You should always invest in real estate, or at least that's what I've been told. Uh, Yavamaya Coast, signed by Anthony Waters. Fantastic. Now this is one of the ones that I've been most excited about. I really wanted to check this out. And we'll see if we can get the camera to focus. Hall of Gemstones altar. Look at this. I don't know who did this altar, but they did an absolutely fantastic job. Look at this card. I don't even know what deck this is going in, but when I saw this, I had to pick it up. Fantastic work. I'm going to have to figure something out. Next up, we got a Keldoran Outpost. Classic for not just pre-modern, but I have been playing a little bit of Alice Constructed, which is Alliance Ice Age, and this is a staple in there. Speaking of staples, I couldn't help myself. Black is my favorite color. <laughs> I had to pick up a signed lily for the Vintage Cube. And finally, an old school pickup. Urborg is going in my old school Abyss Rack deck. Uh, very happy to have a signed copy to replace my regular copy, and the condition on this is fantastic, so very cool. And last but not least, not one, but two Carnophages. Now, red signatures are not my favorite on black cards. I usually prefer silver or black. Um, usually black if it's foil, but silver is acceptable as well. But it seems like Pete likes to sign in red a lot, so I feel like completing a signed set of these is not going to be super difficult. Okay, now for the main event. The signed lot. Let's just get these all out here. Okay, and start from the top. Swords of Plowshares. I don't know how many signed copies are in this lot, but let's find out. <laughs> At least two. That's pretty sweet. Can we get a playset maybe? That'd be amazing. Transcendent Master. Oh, one of the uh, the level up creatures. Interesting. Probably not that great. Three mana for a 3-3. Three, three. That then takes another three mana to get lifelink as a 6-6. Six, six. It's okay. I mean, I think this is a commander card. <laughs> we'll put all the, the non... Um, pre-modern everything. Non cards I'm super excited about. You know, one pile together, but I'll try and spread everything else out. Elspeth Sun's Champion. I mean, that is a classic from Theros, and we got two, three. Oh, do we have a playset? Well, we got at least one more Swords of Plowshares. Okay, so we got three Elspeths. Can make a uh, Theros constructed deck at some point. Selfless Spirit. Classic card for Commander. Does see some Pioneer play as well. Um, even some modern play, I think, so very cool to have this. Gideon, Chad, ooh, Island Sanctuary. <laughs> Don't know what deck I'd put this in, but I'm sure I could come up with something cool. Very cool to have a Mark Pool signature as well. Monastery Mentor, newly printed into Standard and Pioneer. Maybe I'll be able to use this in a RCQ deck at some point. Um, hopefully there's a playset. A Wrath of God. Looks like it's got a little bit of a signature smudge, which is unfortunate, but still very cool to have a Kev Walker signature on a very iconic piece of art. And we have two of them too, which is sweet. Baneslayer Angel. Classic Angel. <laughs> uh, can't really say too much more about that. Hey, here we go. Here's our fourth Elspeth. All right, we got the playset. Now this is one of the other pieces I saw when the cards were kind of spread out in a group. Um, I didn't get a good look at all the cards that are in here, obviously, but I did see some swords and I saw some moms. So we'll see how many are in here, but we at least got one signed one, which is sweet. Iona, a fantastic card. I was actually running this in Creativity and Modern and very excited to have a signed copy. I hear Creativity is back on the rise. I haven't played Modern in a minute. Um, so maybe if I bring it back, this will make a splash. Ooh, signed R of Silence. That is awesome. And I think 
this is in Japanese. I'm pretty sure. Uh, correct me, comment section, if I'm wrong. Very cool to have. Do love that. Another Mother Runes. It's the uh, commander printing, but still, it's small. It's cool. Remember the Fallen. I don't think I've ever seen this card before, <laughs> but it is signed. Porcelain Legionnaire. This is actually in my Vintage Cube. Uh, I already do have a signed copy, and it's an artist proof, but this is still really cool to have. Oh, we have two. Okay, cool. Another Mom goes in the pile. It looks like it has like a weird... I don't know if that's an intentional shadow, shadow signature thing, or if it's just like a rubbing. Still, very cool. White Knight, classic card. New art, which not my go-to, but still very playable. We got two. Do we have a play set? We got three. There might be a fourth one in there. I don't think these are in any kind of order now. Uh, remember the Fallen, second one. Vizier Remedies. I actually do have a signed copy of this as well, because for a while I was running the uh, Vizier combo deck, but always cool to have more. Ethereal Champion. Interesting. Another Mirage card. I've never seen this one before, and I can kind of tell why. <laughs> it's not the greatest uh, five mana for a three, four, where you can pay life to prevent damage. Still cool to have though. Ooh, for all Zealot. Also not a great card, <laughs> but how about a uh, Richard Kane Ferguson signature from 03? The art's super sweet too. This is going to definitely go in the binder. Hey, and there's the uh, the fourth White Knight. So we do have a play set. Fable Hero. Okay. Precinct Captain. I think I was trying to brew like a budget deck with a couple of these, so that's cool to have. Soldier of the Pantheon. This does see uh, Pioneer play. Just blank it on the format for a second. Very nice to have. Uh, Boros uh, Heroic, I think, is still a viable list in that format, too. Disenchant. My favorite Disenchant art. Brian Snotty uh, just did a fantastic job with this. One of my favorite magic artists, actually. Uh, I do have a bunch of these already signed by him, but I can never have too many. In fact, I'm headed up to Seattle for the Satanic Panic next, uh, well, in a couple weeks. I'm actually not sure when this video is going live. And I already have a stack of these to get signed, but like I said, you can never have too many. This goes in so many decks. Mirian Crusader, okay. Avatar of Hope. <laughs> I've never found the right deck for this, but I've always loved the art on this card. Very cool to have an RK Post signature in this lot as well. All right, we'll just put it over here. Got another Zealot. Very cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with this card. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to build a Fallen Empires Constructed deck at some point. Make room for that. Divine Deflection. Again, not super familiar. I kind of took a break from Magic around Avacyn uh, and Estrada, that kind of era. So, not super familiar with these cards, but still cool to have. Sigil Empty Throne, not Old Border version, but still very cool. Uh, looks like we have a couple of them, too. <laughs> Three? Do we have a playset? I believe this is legal in pre-modern, right? I don't think... Even Enchantress doesn't play this, but... Still cool to have. I do like the, uh... The stylized signature, too. Okay, next up is Invincible Hymn. Seems like a very commander effect. <laughs> Welcoming Vampire, this was a big card for a while in Standard. I don't think it sees much play anymore, but it's still cool to have, especially with the uh, the alternate frame art, which I actually do really like. Open the Armory. Classic Commander card. Speaking of Commander cards, Kenrith, the Return King, signed. Very sweet. I did actually have a one of, of these in a Pioneer deck for a little while, uh, Krug of Fires, which I took to the Dallas RC and did absolutely horrible at. <laughs> but still cool to have a signed copy. Sarah Avery. In an Enchant World, all creatures with flying get plus one, plus one. That would be cool if it didn't cost four mana. <laughs> Love the art, though. The, the parrots are super sweet. Are they supposed to be... Uh, well, they're not Birds of Paradise, so that's different. Um, I don't know parrots, but still, cool art. 
a third copy of Mother Runes, fourth copy of Mother Runes. We got a signed playset of Mom all in gold. Very cool. Very happy to have that. And treat the angels. Is Miracles still a thing in Legacy? If so, cool find. Signed Balance. Got all that. Looks like fourth edition. Banalish Commander. Equal the number of soldiers you control as suspend. Interesting. So it makes its own little army. That's cool. I've never seen this card before. But hey, we got two of them. Another balance. Another fourth edition. This one's a little worse for where. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> that is a damage card. When I bought this lot, they did say not every card was in mint condition. Um, so this is obviously one that is not. Uh, it's definitely seen some playgrounds, but I do love it. That's sweet. Abby Essence. Uh, I probably butchered that name. I do have a Mirage Block constructed cube. <laughs> Or draft cube, sorry, because it was the first set to be meant to be drafted. Um, so I think this is going to be going in there. Also just a really good card. And speaking of cubes, uh, Palace Jailer is still in the vintage cube, so that will be headed in there as well. Lots of pieces for my cubes. Ooh, two of them. Unfortunately, I don't have a legacy uh, death and taxes list anymore. I kind of sold out of legacy other than helm combo, so... I don't know what I'm going to do with two, but we got him. We got a Squire from the Dark. A uh, very under-costed card, but so are a lot of old monsters, old creatures. The new art of Palace Jailer. That's super cool. I didn't even know they uh, they did new art. I guess it's from the Lord of the Rings set. Micaeus, the Lunark. Classic. <laughs> we got some tokens in here. We got an ox token from Aaron Miller. From M19. What makes oxes in M19? Chat if you know, or comment section if you know. Tell me below. I'm actually going to look it up as well. <laughs> Boonbringer Valkyrie with a very minimalist signature there. Does that count as signed? It looks like just an arrow. Maybe that's just how they uh, they sign their name. Interesting. <laughs> Ivory Guardians from Legends. Protection from red. All Guardians gain plus one, plus one. If an opponent controls any red cards, and it is a six mana, three, three. Obviously a staple. Still very cool to have. Another Micaeus. Another Micaeus. <laughs> And another because we got a play set of these guys. All right. Hey, our second Gideon Alley of Zendikar. Okay. A source to plowshares. Not the art that we uh, were hoping for for our play set, but it's still technically signed. It is, I think, the 40K version. So uh, what's that meme? Drive closer to them so I can hit them with my sword. Looks like we got two of those. Interesting. Oh, three. Do we have a play set? Maybe. Not right next to each other, though. Very interesting. Not my favorite art, <laughs> but it might get some use. Another balance. This one in much better condition. And I'm actually not sure what this card is, so let me do some quick Googling. Oh, this is Ray and Dawnbringer. I've actually seen this before. I didn't recognize the art, though. And I believe it is in Japanese. Uh, flying at the beginning of your upkeep, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to play. So, very fun one for reanimator decks. I think I should probably get around to building a pre-modern reanimation list, and uh, that's definitely going in. And it looks like we're going to have a couple of Planeswalkers to close things out. Uh, a Japanese version of Elspeth Sun's Champion, and then just one more English version. So I think we got more than a playset. And one special one. So overall, a ton of cool stuff. Uh, thank you again for these extras as well, um, TOA. But uh, almost a full playset of Swords of Plowshares. I'm going to guess I'll be hunting for that last signature. And a full playset of Mother Runes. ton of stuff that I'm going to be using in a bunch of other non-old-school uh, or pre-modern decks. And yeah, just some crazy good goodies. 
thank you to everyone for watching. Hopefully you guys like this style of video. I don't do mail day videos very often anymore, but this one seemed like it would be a good one to do. So make sure to like, subscribe if you want to check out more videos. We got tons of pre-modern coverage. I just started doing my old school tournament coverage that I recorded in April. That'll be hitting uh, the channel once a week for the next few weeks. And yeah, if you like this video and you want to support the content I've been doing beyond just liking and subscribing, there is a Patreon link down below. It goes towards gear upgrades and maybe some card purchases, but mostly just improving the channel for all of you guys. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.